à zéro moins une minute. And at the uh, one minute mark, we welcome everybody around the world uh, viewing this live webcast on arianspace.com. Greetings to our friends watching at Airbus Defense and Space in Europe, NBN at their headquarters in Australia, uh, SSL in Palo Alto, California, ISRO in India, Kness in Arian Space in Paris, and all of our industry partners across Europe. A special hello tonight to the 700 Australians whose pictures are on the fairing at the Arian 5. You are heading into space just seconds from now. Only moments to go. Here it is, the famous countdown in French from Carew, French Guiana. Atout de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcain. Allumage AP, décollage. Tous les paramètres à bord sont nominaux. It's an e-ticket ride tonight as we rumble the Amazon jungle. La the mighty Arian 5 ECA roars into the sky over Karu. 49 seconds into the flight, Arian 5 has already broken the sound barrier here in Karu. The massive Jupiter facility will be shaking momentarily as the launcher roars out over Devil's Island, made famous by the movie Papillon. 1,300 tons of thrust breaking the Arian 5 free from the Earth's gravity, and look at those pictures. 90% of that power coming from the two boosters, each one 31 meters tall, and burning 240 tons of solid propellant in two minutes. More than two tons per second. Now we feel the rumble here at Jupiter. When the boosters have done their job in less than a minute from now, Arion uh, will be 70 kilometers in the sky, uh, traveling at more than a mile a second, faster than a bullet. You may recall that uh, we had a green screen on uh, uh, before launch. We're going to see the numbers uh, for the mission begin to appear on the bottom of the screen. But right now, enjoy that video. The data is coming to us from Gilat, a tracking station on a big the hill. Behind us, two minutes into the flight, look at the pictures as Arian 5 roars into the sky over Koru. All is uh, going green. The next big thing will be the burnout and the jettison of the twin solid rocket boosters. That will occur about three seconds from right now. Separation des étages d'accélération à poudre. And look at that picture as you can see them clearly, the two boosters falling away and the main core, the white light, that's the Ariane 5 and our two passengers making its way into the heavens. The boosters have done their job, we don't need them anymore and uh, they will fall into uh, the La ocean. We've lost 600 tons in just two minutes. The Ariane 5 weighs about 180 tons now. As Ariane gets lighter, it goes faster. And there, that white spot of light in the middle of the screen, that is our two valuable passengers and the Ariane 5 at ECA. And all is going well at three minutes and eight seconds into the mission. Uh, the next uh, big event will be the jettisoning of the fairing. It will be gone in just a few seconds. Separation de la coiffe. And there it is. We watched the video so long that uh, we almost saw that occur. Uh, its job is done. It uh, has fallen off about 100 kilometers into the sky. That's 17 meter fairing. Nominal. We have lost 2.4 tons again. And again, the DDO says everything is normal. Uh, the launcher now 121 kilometers into the sky. There's Bruno Girard, Vice President of Arian Space, uh, CSG. And uh, then uh, Joel Donadel. 
He is uh, the head of ESA's uh, Carbu office. And a special welcome uh, to uh, Didier Favra, the new head of CSG for Kness. The main cryogenic stage, or the EPC, is now burning. It burns for about La nine minutes. Luminal. The EPC is really just a huge fuel tank. It carries 150 tons of liquid oxygen, 25 tons of liquid hydrogen. That engine is gulping 320 kilograms, about 700 pounds of fuel every second, 500 times more than a jet engine. I have absolutely no idea what the fuel mileage is for the Ariane 5, but it's built for speed and power, and in that arena, Nobody cares about fuel mileage, and uh, I'm just uh, happy they're not dinging my credit card to fill that baby up with fuel. 